Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail back with more scrolls where today we're going to be doing hopefully a ranked match. We'll see how that goes, but I'm going to be playing a deck that it's a little bit of a net deck, a little bit of a something that I had to tweak a little bit because I don't have all of the cards here, so instead of going over it, we're just going to go and jump right into the video because that's irresponsible. I thought for sure I would have to sit here and wait just a little bit longer, but this is a, a deck that revolves around Samata Shift. Which is a deck that, or which is a card that'll let you summon pretty much any creature that's in your deck, and it has its health set to two. So I think I have a, a decent opening at hand here, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep the hand. Now, this is a kind of interesting deck to me, as I'm playing against Aragosh, who is playing Decay, and I'm not entirely sure. This is actually the first time I've used this deck, and I'm not. I'm always a little bit concerned about whether I need to start with growth or with decay. And I'm going to start with, let's see, I can play a little bit more and get some card draw here. I'm going to have some opportunity to do this one way or the other, but we'll see. I mean, like I said, this is more just me trying out this deck. The theory is that it runs very few creatures, pretty much just Kimfolk veterans and uh, overseers, or not overseers, excuse me, but uh... Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the names of cards here. Oblivion Seekers, there we go. Thank you, game, for handing me the card here. I am a little bit out of it right now, apparently, but Oblivion Seekers or Kinfolk Veterans. Goal is to get these guys to uh, just get on the board and hopefully do something with it. But you can see as well that I am starting with Decay here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and discard this Oblivion Seeker. Don't need it just yet. Do want Languid for the card draw. So we'll do that there. Brain Lice, which... From when I used to play, it used to be three, now four. That is a much better cost for it. Yeah. There we go. So we're on two decay. And now we can decide do we want to go for just some growth to try and start getting some creatures out or what? Or do we go for some more decay? I could go for soul steel on something that's weaker. I would love to return to nature and get one growth. Because you have to be able to kill a creature during that time, though. Could be a little bit tough. So we'll see. Not sure what uh, Aragos is, bleh, whatever is playing, but considering the deck that I'm playing, I'm not entirely certain that I'm going to be having the best time here. But yeah, like I said, the strategy is a lot of spells. This is very much a control deck. It's based off of something that Sisp or Sisip, not st still not quite remembering how he liked his name pronounced, uh, had posted on Scrolger a little while ago, or Scroll of Deer, or whatever you want to call the deck building website. But of course, I don't have all of the cards, and I don't have a ton of gold. So there are some cuts that I made, including because of the recent update that kind of changed around how Curse works. Or at least for right now, it doesn't work with magic damage. So he's up to three resources. I definitely don't need a Quake right now. And I don't need a Return to Nature. I could Soul Steal and get a little dude on my side of the board. And that may be a better Soul Steal to wait and use. So we are just going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and get up to four. That feels like the right move here. So I can soul steal. This guy is not a threat. Other than he'll do two damage eventually. So we'll see. Slow game so far. A little bit of talking. Like I said, or maybe I didn't say, I was thinking about saying. Thanks, so, idol strike three. Uh, when it deals combat damage to an idol, unfortunately for him, that didn't deal any damage because it has to actually deal damage. So languid didn't work there, so that's pretty unfortunate. Good draw on the eagle eye, so like I said, that guy is just really not a threat right now. In fact, probably better to uh, draw one creature scroll. Well, I do have some creature draw right here. Let's go ahead and get started with that. I don't, return for nature is a good ramp. I'm not really sure. Soul steal, decent removal. He hasn't played a lot that needs to be hard removed at this time. So I think I'm gonna get rid of the return to nature. So we'll see here, and let's just go play Eye of the Eagle. What creature do I get? Kimfolk Veteran, yay! Now I gotta get up to uh, five resources here in some way, shape, or form. Will I regret uh, playing that? Perhaps. In fact, I may want to sacrifice the Kimfolk Veteran for, uh, there's an Oblivion Seeker on his end. Um, may want to sacrifice the uh, Kimfolk Veteran for that kind of thing here. Now, I did include Searing Shackles here, and that's kind of for a F it, let me just give this card a try and see how it works. It is something that I really like playing, especially against structure-based energy decks because it just lets you do idle damage. Not the best here because it'll kill either of these guys and that does 
give death effects in some way, shape, or form, but still lets me control the board just a little bit. So we are just going to go ahead and stick with... I guess I don't really need the Soul Steel right now, but we're going to get rid of the Kinfolk Veteran because that could get pulled back up with the Sift here. And just for funsies, let's go ahead and put Searing Shackles on that. Uh, if he moves it around, that's feeding him scrolls. But at this point, I'm really just experimenting. My rank stuff doesn't really matter very much, and I've never played this deck. Like I said, I wanted to test it last night. That was one of the things I was trying to do while not recording. And kind of a point I was starting to make before he made the Hex Marks play. Uh, but unfortunately, what you run into is we get another long Darkling, so yay, Soul Steel. Uh, working out okay. Um, Searing Shackles again as well. We don't really need to. So we are just going to go ahead and Soul Steel you. And we're going to Shift you. Let's see here. Sun of Render Creature Skull on target tile. It's health is set to two. Let's go ahead and drop you down here, see what we get. And it's an Oblivion Seeker of our own. Yay! We have resources to do things with. We'll see how that works out. And I'm not even using any wild resources right now. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. He does get three cards, so I did just feed him some cards. Could work out very poorly in the long run, but at least right now I have uh, some things here. But yeah, I just was not able to find anyone to play against last night. And I did run into a one player who did try and play a challenge match with me. And then, of course, baby crying in the middle of it. Uh, stop that. And when I say in the middle of it, I mean, like, literally within moments of the game starting. So that's how that works. So when our heart's disciple deals damage to a unit, opponent's idol on the same road is dealt one damage. So that's pretty interesting. Um, however, these are all humans, right? So Bloodline Taint is a decent card to hold on to. But I think might be more advisable to uh, brain lice this guy. So we'll go ahead and say Bloodline Taint for when there's a little bit more on the board. Let's just go ahead and get this out for the card draw. And I think we're done pretty much with resources for now. So let's go ahead and put you up here. And we get another Oblivion Seeker. Yay. All right, we'll see if we can control where this guy hits at this moment. Probably doesn't have anything to ramp the speed. Of stuff, but this deck only runs six cards, so this is going to be a bit of a slower game than growth normally sees. There's Draining Mist, a card that I kind of liked back when it was first introduced, but it seems like uh, people have a little bit more value there. So, this is what we want to use uh, Damning Curse for. We don't want to use Ranger's Bane for it, although it does, it, it does only have four health, so that's not terrible. But we need more cards, and we still get to play Ranger's Bane. Let's draw a scroll. See if we get anything else. Kinfolk Veteran, not going to do us a ton of good right now. But we'll go ahead and just... Yeah, this is probably a good target to Bane. Probably better than this one, because we don't want the countdown to keep going here. So either way, if we just let him kind of control this, I don't think he's going to have the cards to activate this guy next turn. And I do have a Kinfolk Veteran in my pocket. If you're happy to see me. So we'll see. Just a lot of poison here. I don't play any Mizma Wiles. I thought about it. I thought about playing uh, Infectious Blight as well. But I wanted to give this deck kind of a chance to see how it works. But I am currently scroll starved. But I have uh, four scrolls on the board just waiting. So multiple harvesters. This is going to make the Kinfolk Veteran very important. If I can get him out. And Searing Shackles as well on this guy. So there we go. And... Good fortune for that movement for the attack. I probably should have moved him, but still get a damning curse. That's good. That will kill things. That will kill a lot of things. But let's see here. Brain lice is going to kill that guy. The problem with brain lice, uh, when it's destroyed, draw one scroll. So they did change it from it has to be destroyed by poison. Units on your side are dealt one damage. So. I could just take one damage and kill this guy, and then I'll get closer to activating him and then still play Rager's Bane. Probably pretty good, probably better than keeping the brain. Let's, let's actually ditch the Kinfolk Veteran. So we're just going to play super duper control here. Very good draw on the return to nature as well. So once again, we got to watch for accidentally activating these guys. But let's see. Rager's Bane. What do we do here? Well, let's return to nature first. Two Fertile Soils. That is awesome. Fertile Soil plus this is a very good combo. 
Ugh, okay. How do I want to do this? They're both down to three cooldown, and that'll be pretty devastating if they both get to go off. So... I guess we're doing it like this. Put two on there. Hopefully. Hopefully that works out. If I can do something, I don't know. Like I said, just the amount of poison here. A, uh... A damning curse is a little bit terrible right now because that will mean that that guy's within one way of getting activated, so... Ugh. Gotta watch it. Like I said, I should have been more responsible versus the Meyer Shambler because he pretty much had a, a, a somewhat of a chance to go down here. So right now I'm doing a terrible job controlling the board. I do have a Fertile Soil I don't want to use. Frost Gale is an Amazeballs draw right here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get the best value ever out of uh, everything, but I will be able to uh, get a lot of cards here and deal plenty of damage. So let's go ahead and uh, unfortunately this guy's attack is not going to go off. And we don't really need brain lice right now. Let's, let's see here. There's a lot, there's so many fertile soils that I have. I feel like I should probably get one more resource, but unfortunately I don't know the deck enough to really know. I could get a wild that could be that could be pretty useful here so let's get the wild for the brain lice I'm gonna get enough cards here so it's here frost gale cast it damning curse cast it more cards god hand there we go so we want our god hand how do I f that's why I said I feel really terrible making this video because it's like ah I was gonna go over the deck a little bit and talk about it beforehand because it's been about a day since I made it not I made it, but I net decked it. So three fertile souls. Is that what you want in your hand? Not really. Life stealer. So we've got to work on our actual control game because right now, right now there's a lot of cards I can use here. Eagle Eye is a decent option. Let's see what we can cast for that. Kimfolk veteran, pretty good. Let's go ahead and get some more cards here. Uh, Languid is good. See, Life Stealer, when it deals damage, it's healed by two. So I could Soul Steal something. I could Languid something. Let's go ahead and just. Well, let's see. I don't. I don't particularly want to give him more cards, but I don't want to let this guy just go ham either. So we'll. Let's see. Here. He's gonna try and kill that guy as best he can. So what do I want to lessen the damage? Well, let's lessen that. another damage curse, which is good. Let's go ahead and soul steal here and run you as far away. You are strictly here for fertile soil. All right, so we'll see. Like I said, this this is a control deck that involves trying to get to the later game, I guess, and keep the other opponent off, trying to get card advantage. But yay, I was able to use a wild resource. And he's coming after me, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, I thought long and hard about the Oblivion Seeker, just keeping him at zero attack, but... So you murder the Flesh Seamstress. Uh, you need, under a creature you can control, get plus to attack. And that's with Dominion. As long as at least one idol is down, it gets to summon two husks. So as long as I don't lose idols, we're good here. So what do I do? I guess I can just damning curse some fertile soil and just go for the card draw right now. Who's more dangerous? Probably you, as the life stealer is something I can deal with eventually. So, fertile soil, bloodline taint's pretty good. You are a human as well. Rat king is really nice. Let's just go ahead and uh, if there's a card I want to get rid of right now, it's probably God Hand. <laughs> oh, apologies for that. Let's get a little more wild here. Let's damning curse you, and we're just going to try and control the board. I like Rat King and God Hand, but you got to get a little more stuff there first. Rat King's really good for token creatures, but you don't want a Frost Gale beforehand. So damning curse. Hey, look, I didn't notice it was taxing one. So every time I damning curse, it gets a little bit more expensive. That's where wild resources are going to be pretty nice. Alright, so one thing that's kind of stinks about Frost Gale just a little bit is that it doesn't work 
with curse damage anymore. So that's going to be an issue. However, I can prevent the Life Stealer's ability to actually heal. So let's start with that. Alright, so second Bloodline Taint. Let's go ahead and just Rat King it up here. And kind of irresponsible for me to go for uh, other cards first, but what can you do? So, And do I Taint right now? I have the resources. They get Curse 2. Might as well. That's a pretty prime target, and I have two in my hand. Alright. I don't know if he has anything to really knock down the cooldown, and this deck does not run Rallying, so this could be a little dicey in just a bit. But I do have a lot of resources. This deck is very controlly. It's very much against my uh, kind of normal play style. But Curse... Uh, if maybe I should put Infectious Blight instead of Frost Scale in here just so I can have that working for me because I've seen a lot of my Poison Scrolls right now and I'm I've gone through a lot of my deck but not enough of my deck that's what Fertile Soul is for and right now his attacks aren't going to be doing a lot although he can take out one of my idols I'm an idiot for not moving that down there so that is a pretty significant misplay so I'll just say derp to that and Totem of Suffering as well so now that when my units move uh, and get one damage here. So that's a good reason to have Searing Shackles. Plus Scavenger Construct, another fun card. So he now has Dominion over me. Yay, okay. What do I want to do here? I, I'm thinking about Veterinning, but I'm not going to, I don't think. I might. I'm thinking about it. See, I want to play Damon Curse here, but that will bring that guy's life up a little hard. And right now, that's still six. Is it better to Veteran here or is it better to Fertile Soil? Well, probably the first thing that's better to do is to go ahead and just kill this guy. I know that knocks all these guys down to one health. Let's go ahead and just Fertile Soil you. And we get another shift. Alright, so... Soul Steel uh, only works on creatures, so that stinks a little bit. So that Totem of Suffering. And there we go. That was good to kill that on there. I forgot what Totem of Suffering did. I thought it was moving creatures row. That's something else. When it dies on that row, that's better. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, this deck's a little bit of a pisser. I will agree there. Let's not sacrifice that card. Uh, do, do, do. Let's go ahead and just sacrifice. Return to nature. We'll want more Rat Kings in just a minute. Probably better get rid of Soul Steel. But yeah, using a lot of time on turns. And I don't know if he thought that I was being bad mannered here. Oh, we'll see. So, control deck. Probably time for me to pop this guy before he can do even more damage. Although, killing him on that row could lead to bad things in the future. Like I said, it's just partially. I've got a. I'm really irritated with myself for not defending that better. But I do have some hard removal. I do have more brain lice, which is always fun. I can play another one of these and possibly get a good card out. So let's see here. That's how many resources do I have? I have 12, so that's 5 and 7. I can make this play. It will give him cards if I soul steal this, but you know what? We gotta we gotta do it at some point. Let's get rid of the uh, other bloodline taint for a little more wild here, and you know what? Yolo swag swag. Let's do it. Soul steal. One idle damage. I'm just gonna buff this guy up. I don't even care anymore. All right, so. Rats, attack! All right. May come down to me hitting Searing Shackles on that thing. And that's okay if it does, or he'll just damning curse it himself. Like I said, I apologize for my slow play. Part of it is just learning the ins and outs of this deck a little bit. Although I do have a God Hand, which is decent. There's a second Totem of Suffering, so yeah, that's a thing. Ripper, pretty cool.
and Baleful Rush. Alright, when it comes into play, any curse on creatures trigger dealing damage, so that doesn't really affect very much here. Alright, Frost Gale is pretty terrible for me. Let's go ahead. I think we're at the point where we just need cards. Quake is pretty terrible for me, except that it gets rid of his structures, which is actually decent. Is this a god hand turn is what I want to know. I don't think it is. Although I can destroy some idols here. It may be uh, more beneficial for me to just uh, Rat King, Sift, and... Uh, it's weird that I have no Decay Scrolls here, but I have no Decay Scrolls here. So we'll... We'll deal with that in just a little bit. That's what I wanted to see. Let's go ahead and just knock out the Life Stealer. Just so we can't move him and do other idle damage here. And that was kind of a sad move. We'll go ahead and just... I could Rat King back here. But it's probably more advantageous if I'm going to God King. God King. God Hand. Ah! Don't remember the names of my cards. Alright, look at the army of rats. We'll see what happens here. And... Strike. That's five damage. Because Curse is still pretty good. So, Draining Mist. That doesn't take out the God Hand play. Searing Shackles is definitely a little bit of fun. Alright, so I think this is a God Hand turn. I think this could be Searing Shackles turn as well. We're going to get rid of the Rat King. I don't really need it. Alright, so. What do we got here? Soul Steel. Let's not... Well, let's go ahead and soul steal here. There we go. Do I win now? Is what I want to know. Let's see here. So that's three, four, and that's I can control where that moves. Um, so if I go like this, ugh, it's gonna come down to some RNG. I think. Well, let's go ahead and God hand and think about it. Casting. Alright, so five damage. If we can just keep you guys stationary and not waste damage. Can I solve the puzzle perhaps? Almost there. Not quite there. Still in a much better position. So that's five, eight, structure dead. It's about as good as I can do. And we do have Searing Shackles on standby, so. There's probably a better move I could have made there to not waste damage, but I really want to get those top two idols down. Okay, so. Things are dying. Everyone's getting attacked. And you still have Searing Shackles, so. If I had quaked ahead of time, or the turn before, I could have gotten rid of one of those and maybe done a little bit better. But I have seen both of my god hands now, so let's see. Festering Freak. When it, uh, com when it deals damage to a creature, that creature becomes poisoned. Uh, when it's attacked in melee combat, that attacker becomes poisoned. Okay, so he's really working to protect this now. So I may be able to sneak in a win here in just a little bit. Yeah, he really wants to defend that row. And Pestis as well. So when it attacks, he summons a rat. This might be a Quake turn. This might also just be a Frost Gale turn. That kills a lot of my units. Searing Shackles is still good, and in fact, I am going to kind of put a 10 turn clock on him here, I think. Alright, so we're going to keep Quake in the bank. I don't need a Rat King anymore. God Hand doesn't win it for me. But, let's see. Don't need that. Return to nature. Uh, no, I want to play Return to Nature. Thank you. So let's see here. That makes. Oh, wait. Taxing one. Okay, gets health minus one until the end of turn. Oh, whoops. Okay, so what I did wrong there was I played it on the wrong tile and didn't actually. I should have played it there and killed both the rats. 
Yay, that's what I get for not knowing this game very well. Alright, so that sucked. Well, I have just revealed myself as a terrible sports player. Let's go ahead and soul steal you. And I don't deserve to win this game, but I might anyway. I really don't deserve it. Yeah, that's why we need to read the cards that we're actually playing here. Return to nature, tax and creature on target talent adjacent tile gets minus one health. Until the end of turn of creatures, this effect is destroyed increased growth by one. See, that's good. That's a really good change. I like that it's taxing as well. But damn, such a waste. I could have killed all those rats. I, I could have. I could have killed all those rats. And I still don't know if he has what it takes to uh, just beat everything here. And is he going to put a bigger wall back here? Scavenger construct. Oh, I wish I'd save my Searing Shackles for another turn now. And Ilmar Rod Eater right here. Okay, now things are looking pretty interesting. Alright, so Ranger's Bane. Could be good here. Ranger's Bane plus Frost Gale. Frost Gale kills these guys. Should have moved this. Oh my gosh, I should have moved that guy up. Quake doesn't get me a win straight out. but Let's see here. Ranger's Bane's good. Quake feels like it's good here. But I don't really know how good it's going to be, because I've kind of derped it to the derping derp. If I had moved this guy up one idle, I could have quaked to not victory, except with the frost scale here. So like I said, it's a lot of me just figuring out what the hell I'm doing here. So Oblivion Seeker and Ranger's Bane anyway. Well, nice thing about Oblivion Seeker is that it is three health. We'll go ahead and throw you up here. We'll go ahead and throw you over here. Like I said, there's a lot of idle damage that I'm just not doing right now. Let's do it like this here. And there. And we'll have a time. All right, we're going to save the quake. Yeah, the unfortunate thing about Searing Shackles is that it actually did just kill my guy's ability to do that. So down to one health and poison kills him. Just Ranger's Bane, so nothing fancy here. Scavenger Construct is going to be an issue, but this may come down to getting Searing Shackles here and just doing it that way. Or him getting a ridiculous Harvester play, which is also how these games can end. So is that a misplay to not play the Quake and destroy the Construct? Perhaps, but if I'm trying to win with that, then that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, so can I win this time? I think maybe not. I do have a God Hand. If I Frost Scale, a lot of things die. When this gets attacked, it's going to just get wrecked so yeah this is this is where I'm not very good here all right so he has two health we're down to one here I mean on the bright side I can uh, God hand and just get this done he's dead that was a waste that's okay let's go ahead and get some more cards here Probably shouldn't be holding on to the quake for too much longer. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, Ranger's Bane. Structures don't Ranger's Bane. We'll save that. Let's God Hand. I feel so indecisive here. That's part of the problem. So four, five, just not very good overall. At least I get to kill things, so that's a plus. So, rats attack, you're dead. You're gonna go up in health. You're gonna go down in health. You're gonna die. Like I said, I'm not really, I like this deck, but I just feel so unfamiliar. It's like, if you're in the comments and you're just screaming, what the fuck are you doing? I, I totally understand and believe you and feel you on that because I kind of feel the same way sometimes. So another play, which is just a uh, Dominion Relentless card. 
so we've got to uh, we've got to double poison I think this totem of suffering could be a problem but I think quaking makes a bigger problem so we're actually gonna ditch quake and uh, bloodline taints good fertile soil may be better let's fertile soil a rat for more return to nature which I can actually get right this time perhaps so we're just gonna soul steal instead I just want to take away his ability to do damage another one here up to eight health that's okay I don't really care at this point I'll put you right here And there's not too much else to do at this point, unless I want to poison my own units, which I don't really feel like doing at this point. So we'll try and protect the idols that we have. Make this work. Could do 25 damage. This is such a screwed up game, it feels like. I do have another Quake, so there's three more damage. There's probably a lethal that I missed somewhere, but still, that's painful. I do have Searing Shackles somewhere in my deck. I'm probably due to get it soon. So Draining Mist, which is fine. A slow, slow game here. And there's your uh, good old direct idle damage. Searing Shackles, finally. All right. So what we don't want to do right now is Quake. <sighs> yeah, I feel him a little bit here. So Brain Lice. Ranger's dead. And... Rat King because we can. Might as well get the things on the board first. Yeah. So a little bit more idle damage here. He still would have to kill one more, which is where the relentless creatures get kind of scary. So Amnivore. Alright, so whenever it deals damage, you get to draw a scroll. I think that's how it still works. One damage there, and... Who are you? Disciple again. Let's just go ahead and... And I don't really need to do anything else right now. Except for maybe move you guys around down here. Could have possibly killed him with a damon curse or something, but you save that for next time. And yeah, there we go. Control game, unless he gets a damon curse to destroy the scavenger construct. That's it, and good game. Painful video, just a little bit. But, I mean, I'll give him a five. He was a good guy. Had some good card choices. I think I think he played a better game than I did, and if I had played more responsibly, I could have won a little sooner. So this is definitely something where you see how much time I took, and a lot of that is just me hemming hawing. And if you have any advice for control decks like this, you're welcome to post it my way. I'm going to have to look over this video again for sure just to say... Uh, what the hell are you doing? So, Decay Starter Deck, one of seven? Huh? And Diversity, I don't know what that's all about. So, yeah, we'll look at those later. I just want to show you the deck real quick here. This is what I was going to try and show before. Uh, Eagle Eye, uh, Essence Feast, which I never actually got to play. Um, same, uh, that's partly a catch-up card. I'm not a huge believer in it, but Sisp is, so I trust his judgment for now. Frost Gale, Ranger's Bane, uh, Samada Shift is the star of this deck, although you didn't get to see it as much, but it helped me solidify the early game pretty well. Uh, Fertile Soil, Rat King, Kenfold Veteran, Quake, Two God Hands, Languid, uh, your normal uh, Decay Control Architecture. Gotta remember the details of these cards, though. Searing Shackles, that worked out that time. Still, Jury's kind of out. There's probably better cards that I can put in. But I do, I've always had a kind of a soft spot for that car, so. Thought Steel, Bloodline Taint, Brain Lice, Damning Curse, Oblivion Seeker, not a cheap deck. Uh, there's some other cards that can go in here as well that uh, I'll kind of figure out and play as I go, but at least right now I'm kind of working with the collection I have. So before we go, I forgot to do this last time, but we do get a victory scroll. Yay! And that scroll's rallying, of which I have how many copies, but I may actually be able to make a, another rallying here, so let's find out. Yeah, well that's it for now. This is a way to fail with uh, even more scrolls. Yeah, I can't do that because of the locked out cards. Yeah, I've I've had a lot of rallyings in my day. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave feedback in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.